Hey everyone! Uh, when it comes to FPS, I really think it is not everything, but I have to admit it is really, really fun to see a very big number on the chronograph. So we're going to check on some uh, R&D that I was making on cheap FPS. I'm Dal Nervi, welcome to Tap. Cheap FPS. What I was meaning is something that maybe could achieve four, five hundred FPS without costing four, five hundred dollar. Uh, basically, I tried different options. I first tried this little guy here. This is uh, basically a bicycle pump. This is a CO2 inflators. It works with those uh, 20, 20 gram cylinder. Uh, this was not super conclusive. It will require a, f a little engineering to raise the pressure inside this little uh, nozzle here. I already have some solution. I already checked that out. And I found out that I could make that thing work with regular 16 gram cylinder. If I can just add a little piece of CPVC at the bottom to compensate for the lost space of the cylinder. It's not straight. It needs to be straight. But yes, this thing this thing going and The only problem with this little thing, it's uh, <coughs> you have three, four shot. The way it's made like that with full pressure. Uh, after that, it's empty. So yeah, now I'm one cylinder down on this thing. So it was not like that viable of an option for cheap FPS. And that cylinder should be all frosty now. Yep. So that thing, let's put it aside and let's go with a simpler solution. I will come back on this thing when I make progress with it. Because I had some little plan to do. I had most of the part to do it. I just need to pressurize that output. Then I decided to go with what is kind of an easy solution for stupidly high FPS numbers on your chronograph, which is the toilet plunger. Uh, this can be very, very dangerous. A little disclaimer here. Use eye protection, air protection, because this thing will hurt you. Believe me, I was a victim of this little guy here. Uh, this is rather easy. It's basically a pressurized air tank that you release all the pressure. And this one is supposed to have a little dial, a little barometer on it to indicate me the pressure. So my guess is the red number are PSI and the black number are bar, but I don't really see yet PSI and bar. So let's take a look at what we have in the box that we're gonna never use, which are the toilet accessories and the sink accessories for it. And let's take this thing. Little fact here on those, be sure not to lose this little white thing here. This is like your no return valve for the air pump. Meaning if you don't have this little part, this thing won't work. I basically made only uh, one or two tests with it, which I'm, which I'm gonna show you. Yes, I already opened it. Rather simple. You tighten it down. You pump it up until the pressure gauge rises, rises a bit. See, we have 20 pounds here. And that's basically one of the tests I did when I received it. 
it's loaded don't touch the trigger it will go right away and this thing produce kind of a smoke effect it's kind of fun because of the pressurized hair that change pressure okay we have about 20 pounds like I was doing earlier let's put a dart in a worker barrel and that's no more than what than what I did for test and that was a hundred and ninety point one FPS at 25 pounds with a, a rather short rampage or retaliator barrel this is very promising but notice there is two little hole on this clog remover so let's let's block those two little holes here my goal is really to install it tight around here so no air will leak from both little holes when I fire so let's put the about 22 22 to 25 pound that I had earlier in it yeah that's about it and let's retry the same test with the same max dart let's install it Two twenty-five by plugging the two holes. Hmm. Let's try a longer barrel before my chronograph dies on me. Fifty-five centimeter worker barrel. Yeah, I got the same, same exact pressure. Let's just hope I can have a reading. Same pressure, 353.2. So I'm going to do some more improvement on it. And I will come back on you with the development of this project. My goal is to have this one as a prototype rig. And maybe use a battery powered one for the final version and I wish to have maybe more than one barrel on this thing so that's only the beginning of the blast terminator project let me do some more research and I will come back to you with a part two of this video at least trying to cross the 550 FPS number with my barrel and Maybe more, improve it to be more functional. That's going to be fun. Until next time, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell, stay notified for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.